Alright man, we got Lecrae right here, man, with the track star. Say what's up, man. What's going on? How y'all living? What's cracking? What's good? It's your boy Cray all the crazy bots of the Lord Jesus Christ. Alright man, so um how we gonna start like this, man. How'd you get started? How did I get started? Um well, uh, I think it was probably like a Monday, 2.50 a.m. I was born. And then, uh, you know what I'm saying, from there, um, nah, I'm just messing. Uh, man, I really, you know, for, for me, it was real organic. And I tell a lot of, a lot of people that it's real organic. It was me, my man Show Tadashi, uh, my homie BJ, just a lot of us in, in, uh, uh, in a Bible study together. And uh, we just all, you know, fellowship together. You know, like after Bible study, whatever, we break bread and stop and freestyle and play around or whatever and then after that it just you know everybody used to freestyle but it was just a, a few of us where people would be like oh do that again say that again do that again and so it kind of you know helped us understand like we had a little more of a gift than, uh, you know, than we may have even thought and, uh, and then we just put together projects uh, we really talk and then we just kept you know, talking to these things after that Okay, okay. Uh, I write, but I can't do it. I mean, when you write so much, you forget how to freestyle sometimes. You don't keep it up. So, I ain't like to freestyle, so we, we practice with him every so often. We got this man named uh, Guys Will on our team, and he is he's the best. He's the best. I'm going to get him to meet you. Best in terms of he can go for a long time, or best in terms of when he, when everything he says well, is like, okay. Whatever you can right. come up with. <laughs> Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. So like, um, first off, man, like, I love Rebel. Rebel is an incredible album. Um, like, how do you feel about Rebel and how what it did on iTunes? Yeah, um, it was kind of mind blowing, man, just to see the response and the way it was received on iTunes. Um, you know, it kind of blew me away. I prayed a lot about it because, you know, when after the music stops, you know, Jesus' music was like a, you know, quote unquote, big song. And uh, just that pressure you feel like, ah, oh, Lord, I didn't do that. I didn't mean to make that song. And I didn't, I didn't know it was going to do what it did. And so just this internal pressure you feel like the next project, Lord. And, uh, and God really calmed my soul on that one. It was like, nah, you be about my business. You, you write to meet people's needs and to minister. And let me take care of the rest. And you know, there wasn't a song that popped off like Jesus music, but the overall the project was just received well, and, um, and I was just glad. So yeah, because that um, identity, yeah, like that minister to me. Like if somebody say rap can't minister, identity, <laughs> they lying. You right on, because that minister to me. Right like, on. I was like, wow. Okay. Right so on. That's that's what's good. Yeah. Well, uh, Craig, you know, this is the second time you and I sat down, yes, man. So, um, what's been going on since then, man? What major moves has God made just that you that you want to speak about? Hey. Um, to the A. <laughs> what's going on? Look, so, we definitely got to get you a jacket. We're going to get your mailing address. We're going to put Track Stars Hall of Famer on the back of it. Okay. Make sure you get that. Okay. That's what's that. up. That's yeah, what's and up. And that's, that's a serious title. Let me explain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't just get everybody that Track Stars Hall of Famer. Okay. Title. Like, okay. I mean, Ryan's messed around and gave some, some suspect people yeah, that before. Yeah. But, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's serious. So, y'all so have to recall some jackets, man. Some Hall of Famer. That's what's up, man. So um, basically, man, all right, this is one question that we've come up with a lot on our show. Um, secular artists working with Christian artists. How do you feel about that? Um, that's an interesting question. It, 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 there's a lot of different dynamics and a lot of philosophies that play into that. And I think it's it's going to depend on how you, how you look at what you're doing. Um, so for me, when I grab the microphone, um, I'm coming as a minister to articulate truth into a dark world. It's almost like a pulpit for me. So for me, it'd be difficult to let somebody come up who has a different worldview, who sees things from a different perspective. Even if they are Christian, if they see things from a different perspective that will conflict with what I believe the scripture is saying, I'm gonna have a problem putting it in my pulpit, just like a pastor would. You know, if one pastor is like, you know, doesn't uh, approve of gay marriages, he's not about to let a gay pastor come up and preach a message. It's a conflict of interest, and so I, I would look at it from that standpoint. Um, now, if, you know, maybe there may be a certain, certain situation where someone's like, man, you know, um, 
I don't know, throw a name out, T.I. is like, man, he, he got some questions and he wants to ask some questions about the Lord and he wants you to articulate some answers or whatever. Something along those lines I could I could think about. I'm not saying I would do it, but that's something I could think about because what that is doing is, is allowing the non-believer to articulate what, they're, what they really wrestle with and then allowing a believer to come and give answers to that. But I'm not saying I'd do it. I'm just saying that's something I would think more along the lines versus letting somebody just get on and spit all the nonsense. But then it may not be a good idea because you also got to wrestle with the fanfare that they may have as a, a mainstream artist and the attention being drawn away from the message and just on them. So so many different things that you have to think through. Basically a hard question. It is. So it like, is. they didn't go on remix. He's like, yo, I need you on this. No, nah, I don't think I'll be able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't okay, think I'll be able to do that one, man. I don't, I, where I'm at right, I, I think, yeah, I think it would, I would be just the appetizer for them as the main course. And that's not, you know, what the gospel is. The gospel's supposed to be uh, it, the main course. And so um, I wouldn't want to just, you know, kind of dance around and wave the gospel around like, hey, come get it, okay, yeah, introduce it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I'd want the gospel to be the main attraction and the main thing. Um, Jesus being his heart to be the main thing, not all the other stuff. So. I'll say we're at where you said you started, um, as far as just doing Bible studies together, freestyling together, writing and whatnot, um, along with doing a radio show. And now that you've gotten so much attention, how is that going? Because as far as Christian world, you you like the celebrity. It's good and bad. <clears throat> um, it's good from the standpoint of visibility. So now, you know, like we're partnering with, with Blueprint Church here in Atlanta, and it creates visibility. So people will say, hey man, I know Lecrae's here, and I don't know where to go to get plugged in, and I'm visible, so now I can say, hey, come here, or I can say, come here, or if Blueprint's not here, I can say, hey, this church is here, and that church is there, or if these people are here, y'all's Bible study's here. And so that gives me that, that opportunity whenever I go different places and meet people from different cities. There's a visibility where I can point them to certain places where they can be fed and grow, um, and then people trust you know, a lot of what I say because of that as well, which is dangerous in a sense, um, uh, but the downside of it is <clears throat> um, you get to a place where you want to know if the message is affected, not you, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want people excited about me. I want them excited about Jesus and, and the truth of the gospel. So so it gets to a place where you start to say, man, okay, is it time for me to tone it down, to pull a John the Baptist now and say, oh, it's time for me to decrease? Um, and what does that look like? So it's a twofold, catch 22. All right, so I've been down with the 160 compilation. Okay, album. all right. Okay, so, okay. I have a question. So who's official? Who's the 116 click? Who's yeah. in it? Who's all right, that's a good question. 116 click. Basically, anybody and everybody who articulates and lives a Romans 116 lifestyle, which is basically unashamed of the gospel, as the power of God. Not like, I ain't ashamed, but saying, no, I believe this power will change anybody and, and being unashamed of that and, and relying on that. So anybody and everybody in that regard, um, we call 116 Click. Um, so, you know, you got Thizzle, you got Jason, those are dudes who just, we know them for, we know them for years. But then we did 13 Letters, you saw Flame, you saw Shy Lynn, you saw Dylan Chase, and I mean, and, and, and these are all guys who, you know, live this lifestyle we endorse and say, yo, these dudes are, are about that. And there's a lot of people who don't rap who are 116 click. And so if you're out there living the unashamed lifestyle, welcome. Welcome to <laughs> <laughs> so, This is good. Okay. And um, now with this tour, I read online that you guys have been in front of hundreds and hundreds of people in this tour. Um, we hit different cities from the north to the south, even Midwest. Is that right? Yeah. What is the message that you hope that those kids walk away with? Um, <clears throat> the biggest thing I hope people walk away with on the Don't Waste Your Life tour is Jesus' death and resurrection um, have, should have so much meaning and value in your life that a person could not look at your life and tell that you don't live for that. So basically saying, Paul said, man, if Jesus didn't resurrect, 
Yeah, I said, well, when Paul said, if Christ didn't resurrect, we wasted our lives. That implies that our life's built around Jesus being alive. So, is Jesus alive? And if he is, can we tell when we look at your life? Do you live in such a way that when people see you, they say, man, I hope this Jesus thing is real because you really put everything you got into this. If this ain't real, then you wasted your life. But if it is real, then I'm wasting mine. And so there's that challenge like, man, do I know Jesus? Have I investigated to see if he's really real, if he really died, if he really resurrected? And if I haven't, or if I have, um, what does that look like for me? So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, man, we ain't gonna keep you too long. We just appreciate you coming out. It's all good, baby. Coming to Atlanta, first of all. So we yeah. have to take you on yes. the tour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gonna take you around the city. We want to we wanna be, we wanna, I want to be where the, where, you know, where the influences are. So we like to, if, if the Lord will allow us, we like to influence the influential. You know what I'm saying? So Atlanta's influencing hip hop heavily right now. Um, if we can influence some of the, the, those influential people, um, we can you know, stop the stream before it even spills out to the rest of the world. So we want to just tell you that on behalf of the track, we, we want to definitely work with you and, and uh, any resource that you need from us, we're definitely available for you because um, you and the 116 Click, you guys have built an audience for us. Wow. I mean, so you, you have just wow. the inspiration. I told you the first time about the kids in the youth ministry. Yeah. They, they go wow. crazy wow. for it. I mean, it's, it's amazing, wow. man. So we definitely want to have you. Uh, Interact with some of the things track stars do. Absolutely. Praise God for them. Yeah. Awesome, man. So we got Lecrae with the track stars. See y'all. Oh, appreciate you.